I'm gonna call the Oklahoma State Department of Education building and I'm gonna ask where Max would have restroom access. I'd like to um, take all three of my kids to a board meeting. Thank you for calling and, uh, the Oklahoma State Department of Education. I know that you've got to get there really early and uh, if Max went, he would need restroom access, so I need to know what they're going to say. September 5th, they were headed to the Capitol to remove that fence. Good morning. Um, my name is Audra Beasley and I'm planning on attending the next board meeting and my son Max um, is a disabled American. He's seven years old and he has outgrown baby changing stations. Can you tell me where he'd have restroom access in that building if he needs to if he uh, he needs to be cathed every three to four hours and I'm expecting to stand in line to wait. Where would he have restroom access if I need to cath him and lay him down on a surface? Where would you recommend I do that? Uh, one moment, please. I think our state lawmakers are forcing this state employee to come back with uh, uh, discrimination. And I, I know I know that woman and I've asked her before and she didn't like uh, what she'd have to tell me. I held a governor appointed position working for uh, Sooner Start. I volunteered a lot of my time, to many hours in that building. And I do not believe that uh, state employees should have to resort to directing me and my son to the floor in that building.
And after all this time, if there's a state employee that comes back and directs me to the floor in that building or tells me that there's no restroom access in that building for Max, who's, whose shoulders is that? Fall? They hang up on me. You can call them again. They hung up on me. Go get your shoes on. Maybe we should just go by there in person. Should we go by there in person? I really don't like subjecting Max to discrimination. I can avoid it. <laughs> what do you think about this music? <laughs> if you would like us to save your place in line and call you back when a representative is available, please press one. Otherwise, please remain on the line. Circus sounds like a circus music, doesn't it? Go get your shoes on. Like us to save your place in line and call. 
call you back when a representative is available. Please press 1. Otherwise, please remain on the line. I don't think I should have to call state-owned buildings and uh, make sure that there's accommodations for my kid. It's 2023 and 33 years past the ADA, and I do not believe it's appropriate that my son does not have restroom access everywhere we go, and it is discrimination. It is an undue burden on our state employees to have state employees um, have no option but to direct me to the floor or uh, agree that the parking lot is the only private place for my kid to have restroom access in this state. Of education, how may I direct your call? Hi, good morning. I think we got disconnected earlier, but I was asking where I would change my son's diaper in the event he visited the building. Okay, we do have um, restrooms uh, here on the first floor, uh, same floor where the board meeting is located. Yes, but um, um, I think we... There is no special uh, accommodation for as far as equipped in in the in the restroom. There's not even um, a baby ever, changing station, um, is there, ma'am? There's not a baby changing station in that um, bathroom, and um, if there were, he wouldn't fit on it. So, if Max were to visit the Oklahoma State Department of Education to discuss. Um, some issues with uh, our superintendent. He'd have to stand in line for a few hours. And where would you have? Where would? Where would you suggest that I change his diaper? He has to be cast every three to four hours. Okay, um, you would need to speak with Terry Cheeto um, for um, <clears throat> for that type of question. Um, Terry Cheeto would be here visiting for. Excuse me. Uh, since you would be visiting. Uh, here for the board meeting. Terry Cheeto, um, I can transfer your call again and also provide you her email address. Yes, please. Uh, will you provide me her, does she have a direct phone number? I do not have a direct line. I, okay. There's only one way for me to transfer the call. I'll, I'll, t I'll go ahead and take her email real quick. What is that? Okay. The first name is Terry, T-E-R-R-I-E. Okay. Dot Cheeto, C H E A D L E. Okay. At, there's an at sign. Uh huh. Then S as in Samantha, D as in Deborah, E as in Esther, that stands for State Department of Education dot okay dot gov 
Okay, and you, you and I have met before. I used to work, I used to volunteer for the, for Sooner Start. I was there once a month and we talked about this and one day you suggested that I, I use an office in that building and lay him on the floor because that's the only option, right? Now, I don't remember saying anything to that extent. Uh, you may have spoke with me before, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure, uh, but if you have, I don't remember saying anything to that extent. Okay, so um, where would- I may have referred you to someone to speak with. No. Where would, I do not remember if I were to come in right now, if, if this conversation were to be taken place in person and Max needed restroom access right now, what options would you have? Would you not have any? You would need to speak with Terry Cheadle. Okay. Okay. Can you please right. transfer me to Terry, please? And thank you so much. Sure. I appreciate One it. Moment, please. State employees don't like directing people to the floor in their buildings. <clears throat> Here we go. After all this time, not one lawmaker, not one of 149 lawmakers have ever made this phone call. Because I think had one of them made this phone call, they hung up. They hung up again. So I guess we're gonna go in person. I guess I'm gonna have to take Max to the State Department of Education building because it's very clear. Um, that woman at the front desk is a very kind woman and she's been there a whole long time now. And it should not, it should, we should not be asking our state employees to direct families like mine to the floor. Um, and I should not have to subject Max to multiple counts of discrimination at the hands of state employees because our legislature refuses to address this issue. And I'm asking the Attorney General for help to put an end to it because I'd like to take my kids to a State Department of Education meeting. Uh, we, have, we have a few things to say and we should all have restroom access when we go. I hope you guys can uh, help support this. It's gonna, it's gonna, we've got a long road ahead of us, very long road. And um, I'm here for it, I'm here for it.